Over 100 school backpacks were presented to the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training by the Rotary Club of Grosily and Diamonds International at a ceremony held at Point Seraphin recently. President of the Rotary Club of Grosily, Lenita Joseph, says the donation is answering to the great need for school supplies for disadvantaged children and families who just can't afford. September is recognized as Basic Education and Literacy Month by Rotary International. So this is actually a really fitting time for us to be able to make this presentation to the Honorable Minister of Education. We will also proceed to do distributions to the schools in areas that have most need. So we'll continue to work with the Ministry of Education in ensuring that the persons who are most desirous of, this, um, of these backpacks will receive them. The new backpacks considered to be of high quality come filled with school supplies. Managers of Diamonds International St. Lucia, Nave and Shemrit Raymond say education means much to the company and that they are elated to give back to the community, especially those in need within the education system. Sometimes you really want to give back, you don't know exactly what people need, you don't know what, what are the needs that are out there. And um, to really do the right thing at the right time, in the right order, uh, to my opinion, it's very important. So I want to thank us to give us the opportunity to donate back to, to, the, to the society, to donate back to, to the Solution people. It might be a uh, hundred bags, uh, but I really, really hope that we can uh, get together all more businesses to uh, come and uh, uh, join forces and, and bring back and give back to uh, uh, St. Lucia, to the education of the kids. Education Minister Honorable Sean Edward says despite all the efforts of government in education, the mission cannot be accomplished by it alone. He expressed his thanks to Diamonds International and the Rotary Club of Grosily, as well as other corporate entities for their support to the education of St. Lucian children throughout the years. This gesture is timely in so, so many ways. It is always refreshing when you see corporate entities who don't really have to do this, but somewhere in their psyche and their consciousness, they understand that beyond just the profit margins, there's a society that exists. And today you can actually take from your resources and make those school bags and those packages available to children who otherwise um, would not be able to provide for themselves and their families would not be in a position to give them the requisite material necessary for learning. The minister says the policies of government will always be to ensure no child is left behind as it endeavors to provide quality education to its citizens. The government in the new school year will continue its program to pay school fees for all government primary and secondary school students and will continue to disburse laptops to incoming Form 1 students as part of its One Laptop Per Child initiative. The government has also made $500 disbursements to Form 1 students under the Education Access Fund. School is expected to reopen on Monday, September 4th, 2023 for all schools on the island. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney reporting.